We are the people of the cross. We are the people of the we cross. choose Christ and count all else as lost. We are the people of the cross. Good morning. This is Pastor Scott from People of the Cross Church, located here in Los Banos, California. We are in the little center where Baskin Robbins is at. You can come to church, treat your soul and your heart and your mind here with God's Word, and then step across the way and treat yourself to a nice ice cream. I'm giving them a free plug. But that's where we're at. We're located in the Baskin Robbins Center. I'd like to welcome you. We would love to have you, but most of all, we're here today to reach the lost and the dying in the world. That is our commission as a pastor and as as parishioners of a church, we're to outreach the world, and our world is located in Los Banos, California, and that's why I'm a pastor here at the church. Today I have a little word for you I'd like to give to you today, and I'm simply talking about in Psalms 100, verse number 4. It's talking about enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and to his courts with praise. You know, when we enter into God's court and his praise, we're to... We're to praise Him when we start praying. We're to worship Him. We're to give Him thanksgiving for what we have. For no matter what we have, there's someone else that is worse off than we are. So we need to be thankful for what we have. Pure and simple, we need to go back to the basics and the shelter over our head and the food on our table, shoes on our feet and the clothes on our back. If you have that, there are people in America that are starving and have no shelter, have nothing. If you have that, you need to give God praise and thanksgiving for it. And so that's the purpose of coming in to His gates. First thing we are, are when we start praying is we're to give God praise and thanksgiving. Be thankful unto Him and bless His name. We're not to be shy about it. We're to glorify God. We need to raise our hands and look towards heaven and say, Thank you, Father, for what I have. And those of you that are Christians today, you need to thank God for your salvation, for your sanctification, for knowing to where you're going one day is to heaven and to hear Him say, Well done, good and faithful servants. But for those of you that do not know Jesus Christ, that is why we're here. And you can know Him today. You can know Him pure and simple by a simple prayer of pouring out your heart to Him and speaking with your tongue, with your voice, and asking God for forgiveness of your sins, and you are saved. As simply as that. Along the course of the time after that, you start reading and studying the Bible and learning the God's Word, and your life changes. You are changed from the moment that you become a Christian. But this goes on here. We to bless His name. It's talking about here of believers and the Lord's presence in prayer. We're in the presence of God when we're giving Him praise. We're in a heavenly place. We're in a place that where we worship Him, we're not asking for something. We're pure and simply just giving thanks and loving Jesus Christ as He loves us, as His Son paid it all, the cro all on the cross for us. Also, for the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. That is something that is awesome. Once you become a Christian, God's mercy doesn't leave you. He is there by your side each and every day, every moment of the day. It is everlasting. It is something that you can't purchase with gold, with silver, with greenbacks, with dollars that we carry. No matter what size of a bank account you have, you cannot purchase this with money. But you can purchase it with a simple thing of saying yes to Jesus Christ and praising Him and loving Him the way He loves you. Yes, I have compassion because I love God. And that's why this church is going to grow. We have compassion for the people in Los Banos and we want to see you someday in heaven. We're going to go on with this verse just a little bit. His mercy is everlasting and the truth endures for generations. You understand that? It says it for generations. What he's talking about here, until God calls his people home, one day when that final trump sounds, and this world here as we know it is no more. 
And he comes back to ride that white horse for that second time. That is what he's talking about. Everlasting until the end. Till the end of time as we know it and no more as we go home to be with our Jesus Christ. Once again, this is Pastor Michael Scott from People of the Cross of Los Banos. We would love to welcome you. We have Sunday school at 9.45 on Sunday, church at 10.45. We have Bible study at 5 o'clock on Wednesday nights that lasts for about an hour and 15 minutes. Come and join us. We would love to have you. We open our arms to you. We are loving. You will be welcome when you walk through the doors. And you will also know that the Holy Spirit is here. We preach and teach out of the King James Bible. That's what we believe. We don't deviate from it at all. That is what we believe in. We believe in God's Word. Until next time, God bless you. We'll see you again. We are the people of the cross. We are we choose Christ and count all else as love. We are the people of the cross.